I made this blog post using Brainwork. Brainwork is an AI content creation tool that is a little bit different from some of the competitors. So I'm gonna share with you five features of Brainwork that I like and that might differentiate it from its main competitors in the AI content creation market. Number one, the price point. Let's be honest, one of the main reasons that you're going to use Brainwork over some of the competitors is because Brainwork sits itself at a cheaper price point. You can get it from as little as $19 for 10,000 words generated per month. So if you're someone who wants to dabble in AI content, but you're not willing to put out $100 a month, you can just use Brainwork for $19 a month and get a bit of a familiarity with it. Furthermore, as you go up the price points, it still continues to sit a little bit lower than the main competitors in pricing for a similar amount of words. Number two, it has a built-in keyword research tool powered by SEM Rush. So you get some of the great features of SEM Rush without even having to pay for it. You can see here that I've tried to find out some keywords related to limelight hydrangeas. It's showing that competition is very high for the seed keyword limelight hydrangeas. And it's giving me trends showing that around about October and November is the top month in which people search this term. But it gives me some keyword ideas and even questions people also ask on the topic, such as when to fertilize limelight hydrangeas. If I were to dig deeper into the topic of when to fertilize limelight hydrangeas, you can see here that SEM Rush competition metric is now down to two from 100. Sure, the volume's lower, but it's a low volume long tail keyword that maybe I'll be able to rank for. Number three, it's really good at writing blog posts for you once you have found the keyword using a keyword search tool. So I'm gonna use when to fertilize limelight hydrangeas and I'm gonna get it to create a new post for me. It's gonna ask me what keywords I wanna include in the blog post. I'm just gonna include a few of these and then I'm gonna click create. The assistant is gonna suggest some blog post titles and I can select one of the four that it suggested or I could generate more. And then it's gonna generate an outline for me. I can just add that outline to my post and I've already got a pretty clear blog post outline ready to go. Number four, once you've got your outline, you just need to type in a question, highlight the question and click paragraph and it turns your question into a paragraph. This was one difference from Jasper AI that took me a while to get my head around. Usually with Jasper, you can just click create content and it'll create some content for you. Whereas with Brainwork, it's usually best to type in a question, highlight the question and say, turn this question into a paragraph for me. But in the end, once you get used to the little difference, it does a pretty good job. Number five, it tracks your blog post rankings. So once you've written a blog post using Brainwork, it'll track it and tell you when that blog post starts ranking. You can see here that I'm tracking one of my websites and it's showing the search volume and the position change of the top keywords from that website. So here's the finished example that I made last night. It's examples of evergreen coniferous trees, completely made through Brainwork. I've got a link below to the full post so you can read the post and see whether or not you think it was created by AI or if it looks like it was written by a human.